ever wondered about the world beneath our feet? A world of dazzling gems like rubies and sapphires. Imagine, if you will, a realm where color, light and beauty are forged in the belly of the earth itself. This is the world of gemstones, a sphere of existence that has captivated the human imagination since time immemorial. From the crowns of kings and queens to the necklaces of the rich and famous, gemstones have always held a special allure. They are symbols of power, wealth and love, and none more so than the ruby and sapphire. Rubies and sapphires, two of the most recognized and revered gemstones, have a rich and storied history. The ruby, with its fiery crimson hues, has long been associated with passion, courage and the very essence of life. It's a gem that has been celebrated in literature, art and mythology for its powerful symbolism and stunning beauty. On the other hand, we have the sapphire. Known for its mesmerizing shades of blue, the sapphire is a gem that exudes serenity, wisdom and nobility. It's a stone that has been cherished by civilizations around the world, from the ancient Greeks who believed it held the power of prophecy to the royals of the British monarchy, who have used it to adorn their crowns and jewelry for centuries. Yet, these two gems, as different as they may seem, share a secret connection, a kinship that is often overlooked. Beneath their striking colors and brilliant sparkle, rubies and sapphires are more alike than they appear. Both of these gems are born from the same mineral family known as corundum, making them essentially siblings in the gemstone world. The world of gems is indeed a fascinating one, filled with beauty, mystery and the unexpected. So are you ready to uncover the secrets of these incredible gemstones? Stay with us as we delve into the fascinating world of rubies and sapphires, two gems that are more alike than you might think. Rubies, the gems of passion and love, have been admired for centuries. These fiery red stones are more than just a beautiful sight. They're a testament to the marvels of nature and the relentless passage of time. Rubies are formed deep within the earth in a process that could take millions of years. They're born from a mineral known as corundum, the same mineral that gives us sapphires. But it's the presence of chromium that gives rubies their distinctive red hue. This element replaces some of the aluminium in the corundum and when exposed to heat, causes the stone to turn red. It's a fascinating dance of chemistry and geology happening miles beneath our feet. But rubies are not just admired for their physical properties. They've held a significant place in various cultures around the world. In ancient India, rubies were considered the king of precious stones. They were believed to protect their wearers from evil. Similarly, in medieval Europe, rubies were treasured by nobility for their supposed ability to preserve health and warn its owner of coming misfortunes. Across the globe, rubies have been symbols of passion, making them popular choices for romantic gifts. Their vibrant red color has been likened to the beating heart and they've been used in literature and art to represent love and desire. But they also symbolize power. They've adorned the crowns and scepters of kings and queens, signifying their authority and majesty. Even today, rubies are highly sought after, not just for their beauty, but also for what they represent. So rubies are more than just pretty stones. They're geological wonders, cultural icons, and symbols of passion and power. And despite their similarities with sapphires, they've carved out their own place in the world of gems. So, now that you know a bit about rubies, let's turn our attention to their blue counterpart, the sapphire. Sapphires, often associated with wisdom and nobility, are as mesmerizing as rubies. These gems, with their deep, tranquil blues, have captivated hearts and minds for centuries. But what's behind this captivating allure? Let's start at their birthplace. Sapphires, like our previously discussed rubies, hail from the mineral species corundum, formed deep within the Earth's crust under extreme heat and pressure. The magical transformation from a common mineral to a sought-after gemstone happens when trace amounts of elements like iron and titanium enter the corundum's structure. These tiny guests, uninvited yet welcome, are responsible for the sapphire's iconic blue hue. Isn't that fascinating? 
A gemstone's beauty, the very thing that makes it desirable, is born out of intrusion and disruption. Now, let's talk about their cultural importance. Sapphires have been revered for thousands of years across various cultures. In ancient Greece and Rome, for instance, nobles believed that sapphires protected their wearers from harm and envy. In the Middle Ages, the clergy wore sapphires to symbolize heaven, while common folk thought the gem attracted heavenly blessings. Even today, the sapphire symbolism runs deep, representing wisdom, virtue, and good fortune. But sapphires are not just about beautiful blues and ancient lore. They are the embodiment of versatility. While the blue sapphire is the most well-known, this gem comes in an array of colors, from sunny yellows to pretty pinks, owing to different types of mineral inclusions. However, the ruby, the red corundum, stands as a class of its own, which we discussed in the previous segment. So, what have we learned? Sapphires, born from the common mineral corundum, owe their enchanting colors to trace elements. Their allure transcends their physical beauty, deeply rooted in our history and cultures. And they are as varied as they are beautiful, boasting a spectrum of colors beyond just blue. With a grasp on what makes both rubies and sapphires special, it's time to uncover their surprising similarities. Would it surprise you to know that rubies and sapphires are, in fact, siblings? Yes, you heard it right. These two dazzling gems, adored and sought after for their individual beauty, are more alike than you might think. Now, you may be wondering, how can this be? How can two gems, so distinct in color and symbolism, be closely related? Well, the answer to this captivating mystery lies in their shared parentage. Both rubies and sapphires are born from the same mineral family, corundum. This mineral is a crystalline form of aluminum oxide, and it's the second hardest naturally occurring substance on Earth, only surpassed by diamond. But here's where things get truly fascinating. If corundum forms the base of both these gems, how do they end up looking so different? The answer to that lies in the magic of trace elements. These are minute quantities of additional elements that sneak into the crystal structure during formation and change the final outcome. For rubies, it's the element chromium that slips into the mix. As the corundum crystals form, chromium atoms replace some of the aluminum atoms, imparting a rich, fiery red hue to the stone. This is what gives the ruby its famous crimson allure. On the other hand, it's iron and titanium that crash the corundum party to create sapphires. When these two elements join forces, they lend the sapphire its iconic deep blue color. But the story doesn't end there. Depending on the various amounts and combinations of these trace elements, sapphires can come in a rainbow of other colors too, except red, because then it would be a ruby. So, rubies and sapphires are essentially the same apart from their color. But what are their differences? Well, that's a tale for another time. For now, let's revel in the shared heritage of these two remarkable gems, reminding us that sometimes there's more than meets the eye. Although rubies and sapphires share a common origin, they are not completely identical. This is where we delve into the distinguishing factors that set these two precious gems apart. Let's start with color which is the most obvious difference between rubies and sapphires. Both gems belong to the mineral species corundum, but it's the trace elements that dictate their color. When corundum is infused with chromium, it produces the vibrant red hue of a ruby. On the other hand, when corundum hosts iron and titanium, it gives birth to the stunning blue of a sapphire. It's fascinating, isn't it? how just a dash of different elements can create such dramatically different colors. But sapphires are not always blue. They can come in almost every color of the rainbow, except red. So, the next time you come across a pink or a yellow sapphire, remember it's still a sapphire, not a ruby. Moving on to rarity, rubies are generally considered rarer than sapphires. Fine, large rubies are particularly rare and thus more valuable. This is because, in nature, it's less common to find the conditions necessary for the formation of rubies compared to sapphires. 
Speaking of value, it's important to note that the worth of these gems isn't solely dictated by their rarity. Other factors such as color, clarity, cut and carat weight all come into play. A vivid pigeon blood ruby can command higher prices than a sapphire of similar size and clarity. Conversely, a large, flawless sapphire with an intense pure blue color can be more expensive than a ruby with visible inclusions. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate some famous rubies and sapphires that have captivated the world. The Sunrise Ruby, with its deep pigeon blood color, fetched a record-breaking price at an auction, underlining the high demand for top-quality rubies. On the sapphire front, the Star of India, a staggering 563-carat blue star sapphire, is one of the largest and most famous sapphires in the world. In the end, whether you're drawn towards the fiery red of a ruby or the serene blue of a sapphire, it's all a matter of personal preference. Each gem has its unique appeal. The ruby, with its rich red color, symbolizes love and passion. It's often chosen for romantic gifts and engagement rings. The sapphire, in its classic blue hue, represents wisdom and royalty and is a popular choice for those seeking a touch of elegance and sophistication. So while they may have a shared origin, rubies and sapphires each have their unique charm and allure. They continue to captivate gem enthusiasts with their striking colors, rarity and fascinating histories. So, whether you're an aspiring gemologist, a jewelry lover or someone who simply appreciates the beauty of nature, there's always something to learn and admire about these remarkable gems. Now that you're a ruby and sapphire expert, you might be wondering, why does this matter? Well, let's dive deeper into the facets of this question. Imagine you're walking into a gem store, eyes wide with anticipation. The glimmer and shine of countless gems reflecting off the glass cases are enough to take your breath away. But you're not just any customer. You're now equipped with the knowledge of two of the most coveted gems in the world, rubies and sapphires. This understanding is key for several reasons. For gem enthusiasts and collectors, the ability to distinguish between a ruby and a sapphire can mean the difference between a valuable addition to their collection and an expensive mistake. Knowing that both gems are from the same mineral family, corundum, yet have distinct characteristics, allows them to make informed decisions and appreciate the unique beauty of each gem. For consumers, understanding the similarities and differences between these gems is equally important. When purchasing jewelry, for example, knowing that the color determines whether a gem is classified as a ruby or sapphire can help them make a more educated choice. This knowledge can also ensure they're getting their money's worth as rubies tend to be more expensive than sapphires. Moreover, this understanding can deepen our appreciation for the natural world. Each ruby and sapphire holds a story of the Earth's geological processes, of pressure and heat, of time and transformation. And that's a story worth knowing. But perhaps the most compelling reason of all is that understanding these gems can bring us a sense of joy and wonder there's something truly magical about holding a gem in your hands, knowing its journey and appreciating its unique properties. So why does it all matter? Because knowledge enriches our experiences, deepens our understanding and enhances our appreciation for the beauty around us. Knowledge is power and in the world of gems, it can also be quite dazzling. We've journeyed through the captivating world of rubies and sapphires exploring their similarities and differences. In this fascinating expedition, we've unveiled the true nature of these gemstones, both of which are varieties of the mineral corundum. Despite their different colors, we've discovered that they share the same chemical composition and crystal structure, making them fraternal twins in the gemstone family. We've delved into the world of rubies, known for their fiery red hue. This color, we found out, is due to the presence of chromium. Rubies are also famed for their durability and hardness, second only to diamonds, making them ideal for all types of jewelry. Then we ventured into the realm of sapphires, traditionally known for their royal blue color. Yet we uncovered that sapphires are not limited to blue, 
but come in a kaleidoscope of colors, except for red. This is because the term sapphire is used to describe all colors of corundum, except for red, which are classified as rubies. We've also learned to distinguish between these two gems. While they share many characteristics, their colors and the presence of specific inclusions can help us tell them apart. For instance, rutile inclusions, known as silk, are often found in rubies, while sapphires commonly have needle-like inclusions. Lastly, we pondered why all this matters. Understanding the similarities and differences between rubies and sapphires not only enhances our appreciation for these beautiful gemstones, but it also helps us make informed decisions when purchasing jewelry. It's important to remember that despite their shared lineage, each gemstone has its unique qualities and charm. Our journey has been filled with fascinating insights and discoveries, but there's still much more to uncover in the enchanting world of gemstones. So, if you're as passionate about these precious stones as we are, there's only one thing left to do. If you enjoyed this journey and want to uncover more gemstone secrets, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep exploring the world beneath our feet.